Hi, yes, hello, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. Ashley, how did we get here? Glad you asked. If you don't know, April is my birth month, and uh, this year I have turned 30 on, well, when this goes, I'm going to turn 30 on April 7th, and so I decided all my movies and TV shows have always been voted on or chosen by patrons or millennial movie members, and so you know what, I decided that April, I'm just gonna take the reins. And I started Ratchet back when it first came out in 2020. I only made it to episode three before I got too scared to continue. <laughs> And so I just thought, you know what? Nobody's asked me for this show. I love Sarah Paulson. I met her in New York. She was just in Serenity and I watched that last week. So I just kind of took that as a sign that like I should I should finish Ratchet. And so um again, it well, it's been four years since I've even watched the first three episodes. So I don't remember too much about it other than Sarah Paulson's in it. And this is supposed to be not a spin-off, but a look into Nurse Ratchet from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. So I'm excited about it. I hope you are too. If you clicked on it, I hope that means you are. Regardless, I hope you like, subscribe, stick around so you never miss an upload and no more diddle daily. Let's get right on in to episodes one and two of the 2020 show Ratchet. Amen. Christ hear us. What a beautiful place. 1947. God, the Holy Ghost. God, oh, have mercy on us. The Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Not off to a great start for me. Spooky eerie. Spooky eerie church. Thought about stealing her sister's watch. Took a good... 10 minutes to convince her that wasn't a sin. Well, stealing is a sin. Also, do priests live together? Thank you. Meet up in Mercury, Miracle on 34th Street, the planet of the West Mont. Ah, what a great show. Thanks. It's been raining pretty hard, and I think I'm coming down with something. Suit yourself. Miracle on 34th Street is a great show. Hello, ladies. Oh, you scoundrel. Why are you sitting like that to do that thing? Doesn't seem very comfortable, you know? It's getting cold out. I hate to ask, but I wonder if I could use your phone. You never let a stranger use your phone. Come in, dry off. Thank you very much. Oh, I love this guy. I don't know his real name. Do you like peas? Nobody's gonna ask where y'all's friend is? Nobody's gonna ask where the other priest dude is? I like that robe. That's a nice robe. I don't like mirror shots. I don't like this. I was worried about the shower and he was behind the... I found the other dude. I found where the other dude was. You better get your booty back in that room, my guy. Uh, the power of Christ compels you? You remember her? She was my mother. Oh, no. All right. I knew her. We did things together. Yeah, you clearly did a lot of things together. I was a sinner. I suffered for my sins. I don't think you're done yet. <laughs> Is he gonna make it out? I don't wanna know what that guy saw. Also, I think I remembered why I gave up on this show because I'm already freaking out. And the head against the toilet bowl was almost too much for me. Look at that car. I love that car. And there she is. Love you. You're beautiful. You're gonna do great in this show. Big excited about it, Sarah. May I ask why you're headed to Lucia? Can I ask why you're staring at them making out? Fella cuts up a bunch of priests and they ship him up to Lucia. And now you're headed up to Lucia? You're not some sort of journalist or something, are you? You should bathe more often. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh 
my god. Is Ratchet about to serve Lux this entire season? I would like to go to there. I love that the suitcases match and they're blue, which matches the car. I'm loving the vibe so far. Name? Ratchet. Mildred Ratchet. Title line. Love it. $5,000 to whoever gets the first shot of the clergy killer. Whoa, that's a lot of money. We've got a phone in the office. Thank you. Oh, okay. Is that Corey Stoll? And I do not run a house of ill repute. Okay, girl. Okay, so I can't have men over and I can't have too much ice. Got it. Yeah, get it to... Oh, she be stealing. <laughs> OMG. Oh, this is in 1947. This is going to be my era of cars and fashion. I'm living. I love it. Love that whole outfit. I'm supposed to have a formal interview with him at 11. Oh, what a big day. I'm a nurse trainee. I admire nurses more than... I would not trust her to be my nurse. A lot of vivid colors in this show. The blues and the yellows and the oranges. Have a nice day. Okay, you too, friend. Where did you get this? What? What an attitude. That isn't Dr. Hanover's signature. I have come quite a long Huh. Long. You just said he'd return in the afternoon. It could be longer. Well, then it could be short. <laughs> Okay, she doesn't take no as an answer. Got it. Somebody has a drug problem. Good afternoon, Governor. Oh, the, the Governor, talk to him now. Talk to him now. I know that's rude, but like, screw it. I'm currently constructing a barn to be used in various therapeutic regimens. Oh, there's the drinks. Womp womp. Well, that was, what was that about? Those are some interesting looks. Down the hall to the left. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you about to go exploring, girl? Cause I've used that excuse before at Dream More to try and find Dolly Parton. They caught me. But, is this your plan? I don't think you're in the right bathroom. Why would a bathroom be connected to two beds? Looking good today, Mildred. Yep, yes. We love affirmations. I'm not gonna call her crazy yet. Maybe it's just affirmations. I thought that said wine room. <laughs> what is that noise? <gasps> Ooh. Just saw that and didn't say a word? Didn't say a word or nothing? Get rid of her, please. I tried. She's very insistent. Very persistent. <laughs> okay. Well, that seems extreme. Hey, girl. What you been doing? But I suppose if you were willing to conduct the interview right now, I could try my... Not her making him stick to an itinerary that he never set for her to never come to. Like, <laughs> I love the confidence. With a nursing staff as unexceptional as the one you have... Boom! Roasted! I island hopped with Admiral Nimitz's boys from Tarawa to Sai. What a resume! Oxygen therapy and, of course, the treatment of shock. Oh no. Do you have scat throwers here? Patients who throw their feces? Oh, so she wasn't talking about shoopity bop bop but ska. Until I can secure more funding from the state, I simply don't have the resources to bring you on. Fire one of the other ones. It's that life can be quite unpredictable. Thank you for your time. Life can be unpredictable, girl. What you gonna do about it? Too much smiling. I mean, could we have less teeth? And too much sex in the bathroom. Huh? It happened too fast. I missed it. Just one creepy ass baby doll. What was your name? Arlene. Arlene Bauer. Oh, we telling a bunch of lies. All right. Went in prison for psychiatric evaluation. Law enforcement is keeping. Look at that radio and clock. Cute. Yeah, 
This killer gives me the chills, and I'm not talking Bella Lugosi chills. <laughs> not Bella Lugosi. Sink his teeth into me and suck me dry as if he really were careful. Girl! Could you let me know? It's a little joke between me and an old friend. I cannot wait to find out what she said. I love that coat too! Oh, the outfits in this are gonna just be out of this world. I'm so excited. Gentlemen in my position can't help it when he's staring at a beautiful woman like his. Oh! Oh, I love her hair like that. That nightgown's a little something though. <gasps> are you two passing note back and forth like your little kids in school? Oh! No, I'm not married. She's giving me Judy Garland with this hair. Okay, queen! She had that lingerie ready. She came here thinking this could happen. It could. I've never done this before. Really? You're a grown woman? This isn't exactly how it works, Mildred, but work yourself into it. It's okay. Let's pretend we're husband and wife. Okay, role play. Children. You want them, but I don't. Interesting fight to have, okay. So when do we make up? We don't. You leave. What? <laughs> what? And then we'll get a divorce. Wow, okay, this is not how role play goes. Till I can't do it anymore. And then I will leave her on a doorstep. Any ounce of horny that was in this room is gone. I'm sorry, I don't see what the problem is. A lot, many. Are you ready? You know where to find me. You nosy bitch! Oh, Amelia was her. It was the girl who got caught having sex in the hospital. My bad, my bad, my bad. Walter is an excellent bartender. I love this look! What is it you want? Your job? Blackmail! Tell him this town is poison. And that you want to get as far away from it as possible. Wow. This is wild. For your daughter. Damn. What an absolute power move. This will swing momentum back to us. You know what? Honestly, she's a great, like, speaker. She's, I'm persuaded. I'm persuaded. Good job. This is everything we've ever wanted. We have work to do. Wow. Nurse Buck is way up his ass. She's on vacation in Monterey. Who approved that? You, I imagine. Oh, boom, Rosa. Mm, Dr. Hanover, service came for you. This, friends, is the importance of a follow-up after an interview. That's why you do a follow-up. What also helps to blackmail the person in your position that you want? Oh, that color change. Okay, okay. Unruly patients need to be humanely tamed. <laughs> yeah, that's humane. That's humane. You're about to have some great sleep, buddy. Look at them white wall tires. I love it. Now, why are you messing with his medicine? I, I do not wish to be photographed. What about Edmund Tolson? Why doesn't he want to be photographed? This is a big deal. Would transform that space into a maximum security holding area where Edward I would love to live in a wine cellar. <laughs> it's Father Murphy. The medicine, the extra medicine? What are you doing? Don't touch him. Don't you ever lay a hand on me. Oh, oh. <clears throat> oh, she did this on purpose to show her worth, didn't she? Blood pressure was dangerously low. The shock nearly killed him. That's what she did. Did it on purpose to save her ass and make herself valuable. I didn't want him let up. Oh, oh, what? That's messed up. A dozen reporters just saw a member of your staff save a man's life. Let's not discourage them from putting that in the... And now she's secured herself a spot on the staff. She's the one that saved his life. I choose her. Okay, good for you, girlfriend. Gentlemen, one more shot and then we're done. Great, let's get one with the two of us. Oh, oh no. Don't put your hand on me like that. Thank you. Icky. In front of his wife and everything, like, don't do it at all, but like she's standing right there and made you, like, what a gross thing. 
I remember my mother and father, but I can't picture them. Am I going to cry? All I had was my brother, and then he was taken away from me, too. Oh, no. Right now, there's something difficult I have to tell you. She's going to tell him? That I know for a fact that they are never going to let that happen. Why would you tell him this? You are going to spend the rest of your life in here. Jesus Christ, Mildred! But there is a letter opener on Dr. Hanover's desk. What are you doing? What are you planting in his head? Fellow Californians. Oh, is he gonna stab her? Is he gonna stab himself? Is he gonna stab Hando like Hanover? Like. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, this is cool. You told him about it, and then you're just gonna leave him alone? Okay, so now he's gonna off himself. Alright, well that's. Mildred, do you think this is somehow a better option for him? Do you take me for an idiot? What? Considering none of our patients are on this medication. Ooh. Somebody in my office? Dr. Hanover, are you feeling all right? Ah, uh, what a gaslighter. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, God. What happened? Oh, heavens to Betsy. You are in a state of shock right now. Sure, as anyone would be. Stop! I will take care of this. And now she's gonna take Bucket Spot as his right hand man. If you tell him you've offered me a position here. Wow. Oh, she said she's gonna take care of it, as in clean up a body. Hello, Nurse. I Bucket. thought she was gonna come up with a story. I'm stressed, 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 stressed. Wow, she did that fast. Our tomorrows are better than our yesterdays. And where were you not? They have a crematorium on the property? What's there is cheers. What a thing to say. Out loud. Ever. I mean, I guess that guy would have been an easy kill because if his family doesn't want him, then if he were to die, then it does not matter. To his I mean, it does. You, 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 you get it. Is that the killer? The priest killer? Yeah, it is. Ortho, Dr. Richard Hanover to make the act recommendation regarding your fitness to stand trial. Oh, I never thought about how you get out of a truck in shackles. Wow. You know, I know it's going to be solitary confinement, but like, it beautiful though. Is that you? He knows her? You're not going to die in it. I promise. Said her brother? They related? the end of the pilot well let's talk about it all right so we got sarah paulson killing some people not actually killing people but uh well the first one she kind of almost sort of kind of almost killed him and then the second one she didn't kill him but like you know um after that toilet uh after the head on the toilet scene i remember why i stopped watching this show uh but like, I really want to watch it. I really want to finish it. It's graphic, but I really want to finish it. So <sighs> on to episode two, I'm excited. The fashion, the cars, Sarah Paulson, the mystery. Is she even really a nurse? I don't know. She could have fabricated her entire resume. She's lied about so much. She's, she's, she's the priest killer's sister. All right. All right. On to episode two. Okay, so Dr. Han Hanover absolutely has, like, a drug problem. Oh! Is he like Steve Martin in Little Shop of Horrors, the oxygen thing? Or some kind of something, clearly. I'm not real sure if we would want to puff puff past this session. Good heavens! He's forgotten his lies! Is this a nightmare? Is this real life? I do beg your pardon. No one cares. <laughs> wow, lady. A household name all over you. What was, what's, what's your name then? I am here because I have no choice. Well, who told you to come then? Melancholia has gotten the better of me. Melancholia. Not knowing how I got there. So you have dementia? 
I'm hoping the procedure evens me out a little bit. Sure. I hope the same for you, girl. I really need to quit smoking. One thing out of a t uh, one thing at a time. It's nice to meet you, Peter. I'm Lily. I don't think Peter wants to talk. My mom says I daydream. Wow, y'all used to go to mental institutions just for any old thing. Daydreaming, forgetfulness. The procedure will require some mild sedation. See you on the other side. They're all getting it done? I was hoping that the details of my condition would remain calm. What's your condition? What, that you're a lesbian? That much is plain. Oh, you're gay? Dr. Hanover <laughs> has asked you to put on the gowns and prepare to be sedated. I want to be sedated. Uh, isn't she beautiful? How is this a major press event when the governor sends his secretary? His wife. And I'm confident you'll find today's event worth your time. I thought it was his wife. And now, the main event. They're gonna sit in on surgery? I could never. Very exciting. Nurses, take your seats, please. Whoa. Oh, I, I'm nervous. I'm scared. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? You're about to witness history. I present to you the lobotomy. Oh! Oh, there's gonna be so much blood mania memory loss lesbianism lesbianism these maladies can be subdued if not reversed oh by surgically this ma'am degrees of neural connections maybe she's not the governor's wife i touch the mind first the incision i'm so scared for this all right gonna make a little cut right at the temple Next, the trepanning. Well, Bucket, get on it. You should know these instruments. Um, um, um. Mm mm, mm mm. Guess what? I can't watch this right here. Can't watch this right here. Not him taking a picture. Now we rotate the. Meanwhile, Nurse Ratchet's like, yeah, yeah, get up in there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oop, 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 oop. And the procedure is complete. Are we sure about this? Same girl, same girl. If you could quickly attend to our guest, I'd like to proceed with today's program. I don't think civilians were just made to watch this. You know what I mean? Who's just rolling up like, yep, gonna watch this today. Oh, little pops of green, love that, fun. Is that the priest? The one priest that lived? We're housing an inmate there, Edmund Tullison. Why would you trigger this man like this? Why would you trigger him like this? I know what you've been through about your nervous breakdown. I don't blame him for having a nervous breakdown. By having an interview with Dr. Hanover and telling him what you saw. Uh, I don't think reliving it's gonna help much. Except in this case, I wouldn't trust a stranger pushing my wheelchair. <clears throat> Not well enough. I just can't. So you gonna make him have a second mental breakdown. Uters in Christ. <gasps> that is torturous. That is so messed up. Is it to house the patients? No, it's an actual barn. For animals? Maybe that's something he and I could do together. <laughs> I oh, I remember hearing this on TikTok. All right, you're holding my peach. So? So it's mine. Give it back. That's my peach. I brought it here. And I bought it here. Wow. So now it's mine. She kind of does have a point, I mean, in a situation like Dolly, this. shut up. Sorry. You are not sorry, but you will be. <laughs> Just thinking of all the things I'm going to do about it. Damn. Damn. I was appalled by yesterday's surgery. And Bucket didn't even finish the peach. Operating theater in 15 minutes. I expect to see you all there. You mean the previous lobotomy didn't work well, so now you're going to do a different kind of lobotomy? Panning of the skull by boring through the sphenoid bone with a hand. Those are not real words. Through one of the skull's thinnest points. The ice. Oh, okay. no, I'm a. Th no! No! 
A simple tool that John and Jane Q Public already have around the home. An ice pick? You're insinuating that people could do this at home? Are you gonna stick that in her eye? Above the eye. Against the thing. Nope, no thank you, no thank you! And we tap the uh -uh, ice pick, uh -uh. driving it five centimeters into the frontal lobe. Oh, I'm gonna throw up! Oh, look. My peach. <laughs> Damn. Are you a nurse, Miss Bucket? Or a lily livered housefrau? Yeah, you lily livered lady. Now go and change the goddamn bedpan! Both of you! I don't know how anybody be able to sit through that nurse or not. Then we turned to a neutral position and driven a further two centimeters. So we're driving it in, swirling it around, driving it in, swirling it around. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, Nurse Ratchet, you crazy for wanting to stick around after that one. Crazy. He's like, no noticeable bleeding. Yeah, because the body's dead, homie. Hmm. 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 Other patients are allowed to shower. What are you doing? Edmund remains shackled. Oh, just cleaning. Hosed down like a stone. What an awful way to shower. So she's just trying to get her brother some normal freedoms that the other patients don't have. From now on, you'll be allowed to shower like every other patient here. But why would you let him do that, girl? I'm going to get you out of here. But you have to control yourself. Oh, so she knows it's a risk. She knows it's a risk. All right. You don't know me. We haven't been officially introduced. I know exactly who you are. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. I put a sack lunch here. Would someone have thrown it away? Nurse Bucket ate it. But you also have a sack lunch. I really don't mind. No, I mean, I don't eat bologna. Why? Good question. I just don't eat extruded meats. No offense. I don't know what extrudent means. Bologna is my favorite food. You can't be serious. I am completely serious. Listen. Take that baloney fried up, put some barbecue sauce on top, girl. You ain't lived till you don't want them numbers. So, how about you let me show you around? Fun! Besties! And there's an oyster bar just off Route 1 I've been dying to try. Oyster bar? Oh, oysters. You don't eat baloney, but you'll eat oysters? Please. Come on, it'll be an adventure. It'll be an adventure! We exploring lots of things like Monterey and your sexuality. I love how big steering wheels used to be. It's so funny to me for some reason. The election on it, something that I don't know that voters are able to accept. Oh, she really is just his secretary. For some reason, I thought she was also his wife. I'm not sure how I'm even meant to do this. Me either, girl. I've never had an oyster. Can't get past the look of them. Then you take this little fork and loosen the oyster. I would rather die. Then cocktail sauce, if you're a boor who likes hookers and cigars. Well, what's wrong with that? You just let it slide into your mouth. It's like making love to the ocean. What? I have never, I never want to watch someone eat an oyster again, ever. So you believe in it? Believe in what? What? The lobotomy. Oh. Oh. Mm, nah. Well, there are rights and there are wrongs. That's a good point. And there's a difference between having, you know, depression and being a serial killer. I believe there are some things that are worse to feel than simply feeling nothing. Like heartbreak. You know what? I could go for a nightcap. It ain't nighttime. Yes. I would like that. It's not even close to nighttime. Wow, this is really pretty. Okay, fun. Little motorcycle club, little going out moment. A little hole in the wall. Relax. It's an adventure. It's an adventure. It's something. What do you have? It's on me. Oh, I don't know. Just What? Oh! It's a special kind of bar. I'm sorry. I have to go. 
Oh, they read the room wrong. I asked you if you wanted a nightcap. No, why did you bring me here? It's okay, Mildred. Because I thought you were one of us. One of what us, you? one of, oh. And what would have given you that impression? Aren't you married? The way that she fed you an oyster? I don't think I'm allowed to make the one of us reference if I haven't seen the movie, huh? What is that, Freaks? I need to watch Freaks. You can unshackle his hands and wait outside the door. You're gonna unshackle him? This is not a good idea, Hanover. That's not fair, because everybody else already ate. Take a seat, Edmund. Do they have him doped up, or is this an act? I don't know. Sometimes folks say that, and then they try to read your mind. That's why I'm so nervous. And... That's a great point. Those ladies down at the AMP, they were always trying to read my mind. That's why I killed them. Oh, my God, okay. As girls just say I killed. They all live together in a house. They weren't girls. Says to him, I ain't gonna kill you, but then you says I did kill him, so. All right, Edmund. And you're listening in to, I heard your voice before, you're listening in. Wow, this is a really great performance. No, we took those out while you were sleeping, but I says, well, how come I keep pulling wires out of my mouth then? Where are the wires that you've pulled out of your mouth? Let's sit somewhere more comfortable, Edmund. Okay. All right, wow, wow, wow. I wouldn't put myself closer to this man. I would not put myself closer to this man. I'm sorry. People listen to your thoughts as you have them. See, like, I can't tell if, they, if this is really him or they have him drugged or if he's just put on an act to gain his trust to act like that. You know what I mean? And be like, oh, this is a harmless guy who's just confused. You know what I mean? Or perhaps schizoaffective mood disorder with psychotic features. But why did he go after the four priests then? These are all prototypical features of schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. well, okay, sure. <laughs> That's big news you just got, Edmund. You're not concerned? They're somewhat too prototypical, actually. What does that mean? <laughs> what, is he calling your bluff? Is that what just happened? Well, see, Edmund, I don't believe you're schizophrenic, despite the show you're so adeptly putting on. Oh, no! And commit unspeakable acts of violence. And Edmund, your sister has asked you to keep control. Rehabilitation. Wow, this is a cinematic masterpiece. Just the half screens and the little, all the things, the editing is. I can help you, but you have to help me. Wow, you're showing so much trust with the knife right there. I need to know about the moment of rage. What caused you to snap? Uh-uh, what if he snaps again? Think about what I said, Edmund. All right, so the doctor's on to him, all right. Are you experiencing any physical discomfort? Oh yeah, didn't this kid get lobotomized? No. No, ma'am. Manners. Scattered thoughts. Distraction. Oh lord, I would have been lobotomized. I don't have any thoughts at all. Oh, that's scary. <gasps> get out! Oh my heavens, you know what? Lord, that was a sight to see. I'm not your secretary. Pick up the phone and ask them yourself. God, what an awful woman. Hello? I got your flowers. They're wonderful. Who is that man's voice? Oh. I hope you know. Your faith is very inspiring to me, Mildred. Don't go that far. That monster needs to be punished. Oh. <laughs> He's really riding with her. He really trusts this stranger. Dr. Hanover will be the only one with access to this information. That's a lie, Mildred. Tell me what you remember, Father. Does she just want to relive this heinous murder that her brother committed? Would you recognize it if you saw him? You're going to poison him? Because he's the only witness to the murders. Mutilate the Monsignor. Oh, God. Oh, heavens to Betsy. And suddenly I realized he was gone. I knew that they were dead. Oh, I don't want to see that. 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 Oh, I extra don't want to see that one in the bathtub. That's when I saw his face. 
Wow, he stood at the crime scene? It's all right, Father. Easy now. Girl, you can't commit a crime while it's recording. Your voice is on the recordings. Oh, oh, oh. She doing a lobotomy at home. Okay. Girl, what if you get caught? Your voice is on the recording. Edmund Tullison is my brother. Damn. He wasn't born a monster. Well, then what happened? Somebody turned him into one. And what about you? Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. He took a weekend trip with a young woman. Crazy. But he's much more serene. The night terrors have stopped and he's put on some weight. Oh, so he doesn't have any thoughts. We need you to provide an affidavit. Oh, he can't do that anymore. Does it disfigure your face? I don't know. Oh, no, he looks normal. He looks okay. Can you hear us? Let's go. Oh, he's not doing great. Oh, he's drooling. Oh, okay. Well, I guess she doesn't have to worry about him anymore. OMG, it's over. Okay. All right. Let's talk about it. Well, that wraps up the first and second episode, and we have established that, um... We just performing some at-home lobotomies now, I reckon. I guess she... Okay, so Nurse Ratchet is Edmund Tullison's sister. And she is trying to get him out while playing the card with Handover that, like... You know, oh, man. She's trying to accomplish so many things. And now Briggs, Mrs. Briggs, thinks Mildred is gay. And that big upsetty spaghetti Mildred... And I thought she, this whole time, I thought she was married to the governor because, you know, they were out to dinner and stuff. But I guess she really is just his secretary. Okay, so I was confused. Anyways, that doesn't matter. I'm excited to see where that kind of goes. Um, never want to see somebody eat an oyster ever again and would rather eat bologna every day than ever have an oyster. So there's that. Um, I'm excited about this. Once again, I didn't put this up on a poll. It's just a show that I really wanted to watch that I haven't been able to do by myself. And I know, yes, while I technically am watching it alone in this room, I know that a few of you are going to watch along with me. So that gives me strength to make it through this, okay? That's where I'm at. I'm excited about it. I hope you are too. Coming up this Friday is actually going to be The Little Mermaid, the new one. So I just went to Disney for my 30th birthday. Thanks to Hoppin'. And my favorite princess is Ariel from The Little Mermaid. The movie, I think it came out in 93, 94? I don't know when it originally came out. I haven't had a chance to see the new one, and I'm really excited about it. So I hope you like, subscribe, stick around. And then the Monday after my birthday, April 8th, is going to be 13 going on 30. So that's what's coming up that I know of right now. If future Ashley knows what's coming up, she'll put it right here. If not, then I guess we're all in for a little birthday adventure, right? So, for the third time, thrice, like, subscribe, stick around, links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTube-verse, and I'll see you right back here on Friday for The Little Mermaid. Bye!